been way too long but i've been working on my materials for submitting to agents i started with my bio and here i'm working on my synopsis it's so nerve-wracking and trying to perfect everything and make sure things sound right is a bit difficult but i managed to get alisa first draft done on this day and I felt very very accomplished so that was a success um, I wrote too much though but I got it down to 502 words uh, there's two versions the second version is 502 words which is great and I'm very happy about that I'm going home now but that that was that was a success for sure I'm just gonna leave it come back to it maybe tomorrow and see if I still like it but I'm I'm very happy <laughs> I started writing my query letter and it's going a lot easier than I thought. I found a template on readsy.com. Readsy they have so much stuff, like they, they have a lot of resources, writing resources and just, I was amazed, but um, I'm just following their template and so far it's going good. I'm, I don't know. I think all the work I've been doing for my synopsis is like bleeding over. So my creative mind is really going, which is a good thing. And yeah, so I'm not finding it as difficult as I thought it would be. And I think I was kind of putting it off because I thought it would be hard, but it's not. <laughs> you know, now I just have to, you know, perfect it and go over it a few times. I even worked on the synopsis again today to refine it and I think I've gotten it to a point where I really, really like what's down already and I think it does explain what's going on in my story. So I've made so much progress this week. Oh my gosh, it's, it's amazing. Let's go ahead and pick a random quote from my table and see. Okay, this is from J.M. Storm, we don't know who that is or, or what this is, but it says, what you have to understand is that with knowledge also comes patience. The more you realize what real love is, the longer you're willing to wait for it. Dang. Knowledge comes with patience. And you're willing to wait for real love. That's um... 
very interesting. Can you see that? Oh, okay. Anyways, let's see. Let's pick another one. And now let's go hand in hand, not one before the other. The comedy of errors. So honestly, I don't think I've read Girl on the Train. <laughs> I think I had it in my mind to read it so much that I thought I read it. Because I'm like 36 pages in. I don't remember reading this. <laughs> I don't think I actually read this. Or I might have watched, because I think they had like a movie or something. Maybe I watched it. Or I think I really just was like, oh, I want to read Girl on the Train and this other book too. So I thought that I actually did read it, but I haven't. <laughs> Does that happen to anyone else? Like you think of something so much that it ends up feeling like a memory as if you did it, but you didn't.